In this video, Shabab, we are going to talk about continuous time systems. And as we introduced the continuous time systems in the beginning of the course, continuous time systems are systems uh, which have all the signals inside them uh, being co continuous time. Uh, so so uh, there is no uh, discrete time signals, there is no uh, sampling or anything. All the signals inside the system uh, are uh, continuous time. The definition, the official definition of the system might be vague a little bit. It says it's a process for which cause and effect relation exists. It's a process, process that has cause and effect relation. For our purpose here, in order to understand this definition, what is the cause and what is the effect, the cause means the input. There is a cause, it's the, uh, it's the reason of something to happen. So this is the input to our system and the effect is the output of our system. So the cause here is that for our purpose, the cause will be the input to the system and the effect is the output of the system. And the definition of the system is a process for which there is a relation between the input and the output. Uh, usually we write this relation or we denote it mathematically as, for example, if you consider that the output, uh, the input is x of t and the output is y of t, we write uh, this process of this system, the mathematical notation for it, as y of t equals transformation of x of t. So here this transformation, it's not a function, it's not a function. You have to differentiate between a function and a transformation. A function is a relation that relates uh, x of t to y of t, where you plug x of t and you directly get y of t from this equation. But here the transformation or the system model, this is called the transformation or system <coughs> model, this is different from an equation. Huh? It can be a set of equations actually. This transformation, it can be not only one equation, it can be a set of equations. So this transformation, it represents the model of your system where you have an input and it will give you an output. This is not a mathematical function again. Mathematical function means only one function, one relation only. But this transformation, it can be a set of relations, set of functions, uh, or set of equations that represents, that represents the uh, model of the system. So it's a set, it can be one or more uh, uh, equations to represent the model of the system and we call it a transformation. You have to differentiate well between a function where, for example, x of t uh, equals t squared plus t. This is called a function. When you plug the value of t here, you get directly x of t. This is a function. No, t here is not a function. Again, I'm repeating it because this is very important. t here is not a function. It, it's called a transformation, which can be a set of equations. Huh? Not one, only one equation. It can be a set of equations to model your system. Okay? So uh, an example of that, an example of that, of a system that, uh, that has uh, a, a relation between uh, the input and the output, the electric heater. In, in uh, industry, there are some uh, uh, boilers or electric heaters where you, the input is voltage, huh? you connect it to electricity with a certain voltage and the output is temperature, right? So it relates that uh, voltage to temperature. So you can write or model this system as then the output, the temperature, okay, at a certain place or at a certain time is a transformation uh, of the voltage. Okay, uh, there are many many examples of systems like uh, also the amplifiers. If you talk about, uh, if you talk about, uh, for example, the uh, uh, a voltage amplifier or the current amplifier or the power amplifier, all of them they have an input and an output, and you can relate uh, them. Uh, another example that we talked about before, if you have a circuit like this, if you have a circuit, RL circuit for example, and they are connected to a certain source <coughs> V of T, okay, and then you can write, and we have a current here, R of T, you can write the model for, uh, or the transformation for this system as first, you write a relation, uh, V of T, this is the input, and let's assume that the output here is the voltage across the uh, inductor, okay? So you can write the input V of T, you can write V of T as IR plus the voltage across the uh, inductor, which is L DI T by DT. This is one relation, okay? And then 
The output is related to the current, huh? the output voltage, V output. V output of T, okay, will be the voltage across the inductor, which is L di of T by T. So these two differential equations together, these two differential equations together, they represent the transformation of our system. They represent the transformation of our system or the system model. Okay? So that's why I was saying that T here, this is not a function where you plug V input directly and you get V out. This is not a function. No, this is kind of a system model or a transformation or a set of equations. Set of equations, if you solve, then you will be able to get the output from there. But they are not directly mathematical, uh, uh, they are not a direct mathematical function. This is the meaning of a system transformation. Okay? Type. In order to, uh, in order to uh, deal uh, with the block diagram of the systems, we are going to identify uh, three blocks that are important to us. In order to plot uh, uh, like complex systems from simpler systems, we are going to identify or uh, introduce three blocks that are important to us. And then we are going to introduce only two uh, connections that we can use to connect systems together. The three blocks, three block diagram. are the system block so usually we represent a system by a square where there is an input here and there is an output so there is x let's say of t there is y of t and we say that uh, y of t is the transformation of x of t and usually we write the transformation by the way as uh, with the square brackets uh, the functions we usually write it with uh, with with this circular uh, bracket, here we use the square uh, brackets, okay? Uh, so this is a block diagram of the system. Usually we present the system by a rectangle, by a rectangle with an input and out. Also we have a block which is the addition. This block with addition, huh? this is the sum block or addition block. It adds signals. So if we have x1 of t here and x2 of t here, then the output of this uh, addition block it will be x1 of t plus x2 of t. This is the second important block to us, and it exists in practice. We can add signals in practice. That's why this uh, this block is uh, a practical block. If we use it in a block diagram, you know that we can implement it in practice. Also the multiplication. So we have the multiplication between two signals, let's say x1 and x2, this will give you the multiplication, huh? the output will be the multiplication between x1 and x2, and again, this block also can be implemented in practice. So in practice, we can implement addition between signals, we can implement multiplication between signals, and we can implement a certain system, like an amplifier or something. So these three blocks we are going to use uh, to connect different systems together. Type. We have also two important connections between systems, two important connections, parallel and cascade. So we have uh, connections between systems. We have first connection is the parallel connection where you have system number one, system number two, let's say this is T1, this is T2, and then you add the output, uh, and this uh, will give you the total output Y of T, and maybe it has also the same M, okay, so Y, and x of t is the input. Here, uh, the output y of t equals 1. If we want to write an equation for this parallel connection, the output y of t would be the summation of these two signals. Let's say this is y1, this is y2. So it's summation of y1 plus y2. And y1 equals the transformation t1 of x of t. And y2 equals the transformation t2 of 
x of t. So this is called parallel connection. This is called the parallel connection, where the input it goes to two parallel systems, and then the output of these two parallel systems, we, uh, they are going to be added together. Okay? Then another important connection is the cascade or series connection, the cascade or the series connection. Where you have the input x of t here, it will go first to system number one, then it will go to system number two, then it will give you your output. Uh, in this case, uh, the output in the series connection, it will be the transformation t2 affecting the signal here. And the signal here is transformation t1 affecting the input x of t. So this will be uh, the output of the cascade or the series connection. This is the output of the parallel connection. So we learned here that we have three important blocks to us. Uh, uh, the, the system block, the summation, the multiplication, and we have two important connections. Okay, the series, uh, the series and the cascade, uh, the series and the parallel connection. Okay, we are going to use uh, these three blocks and two connections in the next video in order to uh, see the total uh, response of a big system that consists of simpler uh, systems, inshallah, in, in a couple of examples. Okay, so see you in the next video with some examples on uh, using these blocks and uh, connections.